Hello there, Rice Key Coordinators. How are you doing? Let me uh, just welcome you on board to the team. It is great to have you. Uh, if I haven't met you yet, which is quite possible and quite likely, because I've heard there's a lot of new people here on the team. My name's Steve Chong. Uh, I'm the director of the Rice Movement, and I've been around since the whole thing started. And I normally get out to all these meetings, and I normally get out to come and say hello to you and, and see you and meet and greet. And I really want to do that, but unfortunately, because my diaries have been insane this year, and the, the dates haven't worked out, so I haven't been able to get to any of the meetings. Meetings. And so I thought it'd be good for me just to send a video message and say hello. I'm also uh, the pastor at Kirk Place, lead pastor here, and I'm just kind of sitting in my office. And um, this, is, this is my office. You want to see my office? Yeah, my office. There we go. So I sit around here. This is the other people who are pretending to work. There's Alistair. He's pretending to work. And no one else because everyone's left. Everyone, no, there we go. And this is my office. And I sit around here. Look, I've got a Bible here. This is, oh, this is the minister's Bible. It's a very special Bible. This Bible's special, right? It's got more books than your Bible does, I'm sure. Maybe it's got three Corinthians. There we are, Minister's Bible. And um, this is the other bits of place around my office. This is where I, where, where I sit. This is my year planner. And this is the artwork that my... Uh, that my sons have done. Oh, oh, there we go on the wall. Now this is where this is where I sit, and I'll, and this is this is um, this is fish oil. Uh, I've been um, oh, wrong way, wrong way. Here we go. I've been um, having fish oil, and I don't even know why because I don't even know what it does. But maybe it makes me smart. I don't know. Here we go. So feel free to come to my office anytime, and uh, we can have a uh, we can have a, a fish oil party. It'd be fantastic. All right, here we go. Now that's nothing at all about what I'm supposed to speak to you about. So here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, uh, the year ahead for you. Let me tell you what it's going to look like. I want to pull no punches and tell you straight from the beginning that this year is going to be hard for you. Firstly, it's so great that you're on board, but it's, it's going to take some hard work. But before I even talk about the hard work, let me tell you first that what 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 I really want to press on your mind is the same thing that Paul pushed on Timothy's mind. So let me let me look up for you um, in two Timothy. Where's two Timothy? I've lost two Timothy. Maybe two Timothy is not in the minister's Bible. Here we go. Hang on. Two Timothy, chapter four. Okay. Two Timothy chapter four. Uh, here it is. Paul says to do the work of an evangelist. That's your first thing, right? You may not be on the stage actually telling the gospel, but everything you are doing is, is in my opinion, doing the work of an evangelist because you are putting on this fantastic event, this fantastic thing so that uh, the gospel goes out. That is the most important thing that you can be doing. But do you, do you know what Paul says just before he says, do the work of an evangelist? The, the, the words just before that are this. He says, endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. I mean, evangelism is never easy, and definitely being involved in the rice room is not easy. And so, I want to tell you uh, to endure hardship as you go ahead and do work, the work of evangelism. It's going to be um, a big trip and, and 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 quite full on. Now, why do I why do I really want to encourage you to do that? I want to encourage you to do that because. Uh, the gospel, the, the good news about Jesus, the news that Jesus is Lord is the most important thing that the youth of our city need. In fact, it's the only thing that, that can actually uh, change the whole city. As people understand and capture Jesus' love for us, uh, that can actually change a whole city. Uh, it's been seen to happen all through church history, actually. And I think we're on actually involved in a movement that is um, a significant part of, uh, of church history. That is, God is pouring out His Spirit in an unusual way. And so I want to say, get, get, get excited that the gospel must go out and continue to go out. And on top of that, be absolutely dead serious about the gospel going out. But I'll tell you why. Because... The gospel uh, must be passed on from generation to generation. In fact, um, I'm not sure how old you were when the rice movement started. How old were you? Okay, let me think. So that's seven years ago. Everyone on the count of three, yell out how old you were seven years ago. Ready? One, two, three. Yell it out. Okay, ready? That's how old you were. Come on. No, and someone didn't say 12 years old today. That's ridiculous, right? Now, let me tell you what. They, you guys who have been coming through the grass movement, some of you are now leaders, have benefited because the gospel has continued to go out as this, at the centerpiece of this of this whole movement called rice. And in fact, on top of that, I've got, I'm, a, I'm speaking to you, I'm pleading with you to keep this going, not just as the rice director, uh, but... Uh, as as a dad, like I'm a dad now, right? I'm a dad to two boys, I'm a dad to Reuben and Jacob. I love these guys heaps, I didn't get to show you, they're on my desk, here we go. Uh, this is Reuben, Reuben and, and now, this guy's Reuben, and this guy needs to know about the gospel. And so you guys need to keep doing this because 
This guy, I, I, I'll tell you why. You need to, these guys need another gospel. Here's my other son. This guy's Jacob. You ready for this? This guy is one day going to turn up to Rice to hear the exact same gospel that you guys are proclaiming this year. You ready? This guy's name is Jacob. Let's hope he does not look like this or come dressed like this when he comes to Rice one day. Here we go. There he is. Now look at this absolute monster sumo wrestler. Now this guy is serious, man. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what this guy needs. Not only does he need to lose some of those fat rolls, but what he needs to do most of all is turn to Jesus and, and live and continue to live with Jesus. And the rice movement is, I, 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 as a dad, in all seriousness, I'm, I'm hoping and, and praying that Jacob and Reuben grow up and come along to this movement and still continue to hear the news that Jesus is Lord. And so I wanted to say thank you for your hard work in advance. Uh, I'm sure you're already doing some already, but just thank you so much for your hard work and please endure hardship and please do the work of an evangelist. And I'm looking forward to, um, at the end on the last day, being able to say with Paul, what do you want he says straight after that? He says, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry, and he says, For I'm already being poured out as a drink offering. Isn't it a privilege to be poured out as a drink offering for God? And so I'm going to pray that on the last day we'll be able to say, like Paul, if I've just been poured out for him. I've not burnt out, but poured out for him uh, as an offering pleasing to him. So what I might do right now is I might pray for all of you, if that's okay. And um, and I hope this will be an encouragement to you as we pray together. And you know what is is great because when we when we pray together right now, we're going to be united uh, in the name of Jesus, even though we're via a video screen. This is all time lagged, but uh, we're united in Jesus, and you guys are united with all these other people in the room who you don't even know that well. Uh, this is the church coming together, the body of Christ coming. Let's pray. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for this whole team, these key, key coordinators. I thank you, Lord, that all of them are here together, united in Jesus. I pray, Lord, that they would very seriously take the work of evangelism and take it, take the gospel forward, for not just for this generation, but for generations to come. Uh, Lord, we pray that you would save many people um, at the Rice events this year, uh, bring many people to you. We pray, Lord, that you would indeed change our city as the gospel goes out. And Lord Jesus, we pray that uh, you would protect uh, these, um, all of these uh young people uh, from the evil one. I pray, Lord, that you would uh, help them to endure hardship and continue to trust in you for their strength. And so, Lord Jesus, we pray uh, your blessing on them, and uh, we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. You know what? I, uh, I, I'm, I'm really sad that I don't, haven't had a chance to get to know you and actually meet you on the night. So please, can I just ask you something? If you, if you do see me at, maybe at the Leaders' Day Out or maybe at the actual event, please come up and say hi. I'm one of the key coordinators uh, and um, I'd love to come and just, just to meet you and just say hello. So please come up and say hello. Apart from that, God's blessing on you and uh, have a great year.